Hey y'all, welcome back to Rolling With Stone. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to do a classic pinup look, which is this look here that I created for you guys. And it's gonna be a collab video that I'm doing with Miss Petite Sue Divinity. And if you haven't heard of her, she's a makeup artist in Kingston, Jamaica. And um, what she wants to do is specialize in theatrical makeup and just inspire you guys when it comes to makeup and just all things in general. So you guys make sure you click the link to check out her video. Start off by using Smashbox's Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And what this is gonna do is help me to get a very smooth finish with um, my foundation. And it's gonna help fill in any fine lines or pores. and I've already moisturized. Now I'm gonna go in with my foundation, which today I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation, and I'm just gonna squirt about three pumps in my hand, and then apply it all over with my fingers. And for the spots that didn't that the foundation didn't cover completely, I'm gonna go in with Max Pro Longwear Concealer in the color NC45 and touch up those blemishes. Now I'm gonna do some highlighting using the Maybelline's highlighting concealer. And y'all know this is like my new favorite right here. So easy to apply and easy to blend. And I'm taking the concealer a little bit up into the corners of my eyes so we can highlight that area as well. That way it kind of gives you that pop whenever you go in with your eyeshadow. Now to give my highlight an even more flawless finish, I'm going to go in with the second layer of concealer, which for this one I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer to go right over top of the Maybelline Lumi. And since this one is just about half a shade darker, it also tones it down and gives it a more natural highlight. So now I'm gonna use LA Girls Pro Concealer in the color Dark Cocoa to do my cream contour. And I'm gonna blend that out using Max 188 Duo Fiber Brush. To set my highlighted areas, I'm gonna go in with Max Mineralized Skin Finish Powders in Medium Dark mixed with Medium Plus. And I'm gonna go ahead and use Elf Small Tapered Brush to set that with. And from here, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows. So I'm gonna take a spoolie and brush them up and then go ahead and do my regular brow routine. So using the same Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, I'm just gonna add a dap of concealer on both eyelids and then blend that out using an eyeshadow blending brush. And then I'm just gonna set that using the Max Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in the color Medium Plus. So from here, I'm gonna take Max Eyeshadow in the color Saddle, which is a warm medium brown color, and I'm gonna use that same blending brush, which by the way, I'm using Morphe's M330 blending brush, and I'm gonna blend that in my crease. And from here, I'm gonna take a more precise brush, which I'm gonna use this uh, flat elf brush, and I'm going to take a deeper color brown, which I'm gonna use the brown from the Missy Lynn palette. And I'm just gonna do just a small little thin layer of the deeper brown, just so that it can make my eyelid appear to be a little bigger. And I'm going right above the crease. Now I'm going to go in with a matte beige color eyeshadow, which I'm gonna use Urban Decay's ABC Gum with a flat shader brush. And I'm just gonna pack this color all over the lid. So 
So now I'm gonna go in with liner and I'm gonna use Inglot's number 77 gel liner with Morphe's M250-1 brush, which is a really skinny straight tip brush. It's, it's really for when you want that precise, precise line. And if you noticed, I went at a, an extreme angle, brought the line all the way down and then filled it in. And then for the rest of the eye, I'm just gonna barely fade it in about two thirds of the way. And to completely mute my lashes and my under eye just so that the focus can be only on the wing liner, I'm gonna take just a tiny, tiny bit of concealer and blend the concealer there and just set it with powder. So now I'm gonna go in with some mascara and apply my false lashes, which for lashes, I'm gonna use Ardell number 134s, which are my favorite lashes. Comment below, let me know what are your favorite lashes. I probably need to start trying something different. I'm gonna go in with Max Eyeshadow in the color Arena and use this as a brow bone highlight and also pop it in the inner corners of my eye. I'm not gonna really concentrate on blush, but I'm gonna go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit Espresso, which is this one here. And I'm just gonna set my contoured areas with that, and that's also gonna double up as like my bronzer slash blush. So with the big fluffy brush, I'm going to take Max Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in the color dark, which is pretty much like my skin tone. And I'm just gonna sort of mesh everything together all over with this powder. Taking a cosmetic sponge and a little bit of MAC in medium dark, the mineralized skin finish. I'm gonna just make my contour a little bit more precise by outlining or sometimes you call it reverse contour. Right under here, just to make it a little bit more precise. And for this lip, what I'm gonna use is MAC Lip Liner in the color Current. Somehow I have lost the footage to the rest of the lip. I am so sorry, you guys, but as you can see, I'm lining the lip with current lip liner by MAC. And then the lipstick that I use is actually Sephora's Cream Lip Stain in Always Red. And then I topped it with Max eyeshadow pigment in the color Basic Red. So stay tuned for the final look and the details to our giveaway. So for this giveaway, we wanna challenge you guys to create your own pinup look and upload it to YouTube. You will title the video, Rolling With Stone and Petite Sue Divinity's Giveaway. So all of the details will be in the description box. Make sure you check that out. And what you will win is three of our favorite drugstore products. So what I'll be giving away is the Milani Tantastic Bronzer, which is one of my favorites, the Elf, small taper brush, which is what I use in the video to set my under eye, and also Jordana's 12 hour made to last black liner, which I love. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've liked this video as much as I enjoy creating it for you guys. If you wanna see more of my latest videos, don't forget to press that subscribe button and press the like button as well. Until next time, thank you for rolling with Stone.